Welcome to our Muet lesson. Today we will be looking at one of the Muet reading skills, which is identifying main ideas in reading paragraphs. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand how a good paragraph is written, to identify main ideas and topic sentences, to recognize supporting details, and to determine concluding sentences. Every passage is made up of several paragraphs. What is a paragraph? A paragraph is a group of sentences that are all connected to the main idea. Now, what do you understand by the main idea? The main idea is the main point of the writer. Every passage is based on a main idea, which is the topic sentence of the passage. In the same manner, every paragraph gives us information on a main idea too. The main idea of every paragraph is written in the topic sentence of that paragraph. Do you recognize a good paragraph when you read one? A good paragraph must have three different types of sentences. A topic sentence. A topic sentence is the sentence that states the main idea of a paragraph. Do you know that every paragraph can only have one main idea? A few supporting sentences. Supporting sentences or sentences with supporting details aim to give us more information or elaborate the main idea. Elaboration can be done by giving definitions, explanations, examples, citing news or researchers, and providing other relevant information. And finally, a concluding sentence. The purpose of a concluding sentence is to restate the main idea in different words. The structure of a paragraph is very simple. All the sentences in a paragraph must be connected to the main idea or topic sentence of the paragraph. This is what a paragraph looks like with a topic sentence, a few supporting ideas, and a concluding sentence. All you have to know is that a good topic sentence on its own must give the reader a clear idea of the content of the paragraph. Read this paragraph. Have you finished reading? Do you understand the paragraph? Can you identify the main idea of the paragraph? Are all the sentences related to the main idea? How do we identify the main idea of this paragraph? That's easy, just follow these steps. Step number one. Try to identify the topic sentence 
and the concluding sentence of the paragraph. Yes, the topic sentence is COVID-19 is a deadly disease and the concluding sentence is you should take serious measures to avoid this disease from spreading. All the other sentences give us supporting details about COVID-19 by explaining how it spreads, and the symptoms if you are infected by it. Therefore, from the topic sentence and the concluding sentence, you know that the paragraph describes COVID-19. Step number two. To identify the main idea of the paragraph, try to identify or look for words that are connected. Look at the paragraph once again. Can you find words connected to COVID-19? Yes, these words are connected to COVID-19. They are found all over the paragraph. What does this tell you? All these words will give us the clue that the topic of this paragraph is COVID-19. They help us to identify the main idea of the paragraph. Let's answer the second question now. Are all the sentences related to the main idea? You need to be really sure of it. These sentences give us supporting details about the main idea. Therefore, are all the sentences in this paragraph related to the main idea? Yes, they most definitely are. There is a tip for you here. In a good paragraph, all the sentences are connected to the main idea. Here are some tips for reading and understanding a good paragraph. A good paragraph is made up of a topic sentence, supporting sentences and a concluding sentence. The topic sentence contains the main idea. All the other sentences must be about the topic sentence. They contain supporting details and the concluding paragraph restates the main idea. Do remember that the topic sentence is not always the first sentence of the paragraph. It can be at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the paragraph. I hope you are all ready to identify main ideas. Let's try these exercises. Read the following paragraphs and use the techniques learned to identify the main ideas of each paragraph. What is the main idea of this paragraph? Let's read together. Pursuing scholarships should be done in an organized way. Students need to put some effort into the research an application process. Scholarship providers want to ensure that 
only the best and most well prepared applicants are selected so that their money is well spent. Therefore, it is very important to thoroughly go through an application before submission. Question 1. What is the main idea of this paragraph? A. Selecting the best applicants for scholarships. B. Students should apply for a scholarship in an orderly manner. C. The purpose of giving scholarships is for providers to spend money wisely. To be able to answer these type of questions, you have to break down the information in the passage into three sections. Topic sentence, supporting ideas number one, two and three or more and concluding sentence. Remember that all the sentences in a paragraph must be connected to the topic sentence. If they cannot be connected, then you have chosen the wrong topic sentence. Try again. Which are the topic sentence, supporting ideas and concluding sentence in this paragraph? That's the topic sentence. These are the supporting ideas and that's the concluding sentence. Pay attention to how the paragraph is developed. If we transfer all these information into a flowchart, this is what it will look like. get a clearer picture now? So, are you ready to answer question 1? What is the main idea of the paragraph? Yes, the answer is B. Students should apply for a scholarship in an orderly manner. The topic sentence and concluding sentence both indicate so. Are you ready to try another question? Read this paragraph on your own. Question 2. The main idea of the paragraph is A. Vitamin C builds and maintains our tissues. B. Vitamin C can make us live longer. C. Vitamin C plays a crucial role in our health. D. Vitamin C cannot be stored in our body for later use. Once again, can you break down the information in the passage into three sections? Topic sentence, supporting ideas number one, two and three or more, and concluding sentence. Remember that all the sentences in a paragraph must be connected to the topic sentence. Which are the topic sentence? 
supporting ideas, and concluding sentence in this paragraph. These are the supporting ideas, topic sentence, and concluding sentence. In this paragraph, the topic sentence is at the end of the paragraph. Therefore, it is also the concluding sentence. Now that you know the topic sentence and concluding sentence, as well as the supporting ideas, can you fill up the flowchart? This is how the paragraph is arranged. The topic sentence is the crucial role of vitamin C. Are you able to answer the question now? Pick your answer for question two. The main idea of the paragraph is... Yes, the answer is C. Vitamin C plays a crucial role in our health. The topic and concluding sentence gives us a clear indication of this. Shall we read this paragraph? If you are looking to live to 100, you may want to watch more than your diet. A study of people in remote Italian villages who lived past 90 found that these villages tended to have certain psychological traits in common, including stubbornness and resilience. This confirms factors that affect longevity in other studies. Question 3. What is the main idea of this paragraph? A. Most old people are stubborn and resilient. B. People who live in remote villages live longer. C. Good diet is a factor for long and healthy lives. D. Some psychological traits can contribute to long lives. Now that you are well aware of what to do next, can you break down the information in the passage into three sections? Topic sentence, supporting ideas number one, two, and three, or more, and concluding sentence. Yes, remember that all the sentences in a paragraph must be connected to the topic sentence. Which are the topic sentence, supporting ideas, and concluding sentence in this paragraph? Yes, that's the topic sentence. Supporting ideas. Concluding sentence. Hence, when we transfer all this information into a flowchart, this is what it will look like. Do you get a clearer picture now? The main idea is psychological traits to live to 100. So, are you ready to answer question 3 now? What is the main idea of the paragraph? Look at the given options carefully. Yes, the answer is D. Some psychological traits can contribute to long lives. The topic sentence, which is supported by the concluding sentence, both tell us so. 
Are you able to follow the lesson so far? I hope you have understood the technique given in identifying main ideas. Let's try the last question. Read the paragraph on your own. Have you read the paragraph? Do you understand it? What is the meaning of cyber confession? Confession means admitting that you have done something wrong or something that you are ashamed of. Therefore, cyber confession refers to making such confessions in cyberspace. Question 4. The paragraph is mainly about A. Confessing online being an important aspect of life. B. Cyber confessions are popular due to their anonymity. C. Confession pages help students cope with their lives. Now that you are well aware of what to do next, can you break down the information in the passage into three sections? Topic sentence, supporting ideas number one, two and three or more, and concluding sentence. Once again, remember that all the sentences in a paragraph must be connected to the topic sentence. Which are the topic sentence, supporting ideas and concluding sentence in this paragraph? That's the topic sentence. the supporting ideas and the concluding sentence. Can you see the connection? When you transfer all these information into a flowchart, this is what it will look like. ideas are connected and all the supporting ideas give us details about the main idea. This is how you distinguish the main idea of a paragraph from the supporting details. Can you pick the correct answer now? What is the answer to question 4? The paragraph is mainly about Yes, the answer is B. Cyber confessions are popular due to their anonymity. The topic sentence, which is supported by the concluding sentence, both tell us so. Before I end today's lesson, let me go through our objectives once again. In this lesson, you have learned to understand how a good paragraph is written. To identify main ideas and topic sentences. To recognize supporting details. And finally, to determine concluding sentences. 
hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Till we meet again for our next Web TV Pendidikan lesson. Goodbye and have a pleasant day.